petrol heads this morning. Some nice stuff parked up. Look at that bad boy. I'm also here in the Chav M3, showing everybody uh, what a really bad car's like. <laughs> Suspect looking character. Um, so yeah, my M4 even. He's up there and that's my mate's brand new M4 in front of it, which is also nice. Bit. Probably a bit nice and more if I'm honest. Got another nice one here, look. Hurricane. Very nice. That GT I think is probably the coolest though, isn't it? GT4. All the boys come up here with some toys, don't they? 675LT. And my Chav car. Chav M4, my mate Ross's nice new M4. Oh yeah, all very nice for a bit of breakfast. A few cars to look at. I'm out here again messing about with the car. What was she gonna do? Um, it's warm out here, I'm getting a sweat on when we flee some. Who'd have thought it? Um, I have received my wheel spacers. Now 20 mil, obviously I was fencing a bit of 20 mil because who doesn't want their car to look wider and meaner, more aggressive? But I think I might have got a little bit carried away because it do look pretty wide, so. Without being able to dial in any camber, might be in a bit of trouble with clearance on the arches, but I'll have a look in a minute. <clears throat> I'm uh, just jacking it up, getting them out. Um, we'll put them on. We'll have a little look, and fingers crossed, it won't crash into anything. I know it's already got slim ones, probably fives or something on the front, so that means we're only going another 15, but the back, it doesn't look like it's got any, so we'll find out in a minute. So, obviously, uh, when I said 20 mil, I meant 10 mil each side, or did I? Anyway, it's just as well, they're 10 mil each side, which gives you 20 mil, makes the car 20 mil wider. And on the front, it looked like it had five mil. So the front's, I'm pretty sure, gonna be fine. I mean, it looks much better. You see that there? As we are probably gonna go into the arch. The rears, however, looks good. <laughs> I'm not convinced gonna fit. So I might go for a little drive, um, just one side on before I get too carried away. And then I can always put the 10 mil that was on the front, sorry the 5 mil that was on the front on the back if it's blatantly scraping but I'll give it a go and no. I'll let you know in a sec. Yeah, perfect day, nice, wet and slippery, perfect day for 
you're bipping your 500 horsepower rear wheel drive car on semi-slicks. So we thought it'd be a good idea to take it out. Because we figured we'd probably, we probably bored you all enough with pictures of me sat looking gormless and talking to the camera. So I thought we might as well go for a drive and I'll sit here and look gormless and talk to the camera while I'm driving the car instead. But obviously being as it's December, it's raining and it's wet and it's cold and we couldn't crash and end up in a fiery ball of death at any moment. Apart from that, water, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> uh, decent. It's a little bit bumpy in here, but uh, it's actually quite tame compared to what it probably will be in the future uh, with the uh, coilovers which we've ordered. Yeah, we've got the nitrons on their way. Uh, as I said in a previous video, I was a bit annoyed because they're not coming till the end of January, but uh, it is what it is, so they are coming. Um, and despite what I said in a previous video where I was all excited that my 17 inch wheels would fit, I then, as, as we all do, you know, I think it's about half one at night, I'm sat on eBay looking at things that I probably don't need and uh, bought a set of 18 inch uh, Team Dynamics for it. And this guy's selling them at like 400 quid a set, so whether they're actually Team Dynamics, I'll almost not run over the Jordan, whether they're actually Team Dynamics or whether they're um, some Chinese copy of Team Dynamics remains to be seen, but he's got two sets, so I'm going to see what this set are like and then possibly buy another set. We'll see. And then I've got 18 to me. I've decided it's going to save me money, it's man maths, because um, 17 inch slicks are a bastard to get and they're expensive, whereas they can get all the ex touring car stuff on 18, so which was the original plan. So, anyway, true man style, I've managed to convince myself that spending more money was saving money and a good idea. <laughs> Good man. Uh, it usually is, isn't it? Right, yeah, Flinny, do you miss rowing the gears? Because uh, um, to me, it looks like it's uh, well, it's freaking fast, this car, and it looks fun, but it look, feels like it's missing something to me. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm not the one driving it. So, uh, what do you think, Flynn? Well, it's that debate, isn't it, between, I mean, you know, old people like me. So yeah, prefer a manual box, it's more interaction with the car. And it definitely is, you know, you've, you've got all your gear stick, like Herman's got one of these big um, CAE shifters right up here. So you're literally that far from the wheel and it, it's really nice, it's lovely, it feels gorgeous. And it does, in, you know, it makes you feel much more involved if you're part of it. Whereas these can be slightly detached, but there is no doubt that it changes gear faster than you are ever gonna change with a manual. I mean, this thing, when it's on its fastest shift is just ridiculously quick. Um, so, yeah, it, it, uh, yes, it is missing something, but yes, it is faster. So which is better is debatable. I mean, I have actually thought about in my weight loss program for this car, which I'm getting pretty desperate on because I'm like, what am I actually gonna get out to get that much weight? Because it's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So like the steering wheel, I was thinking, well, my flashy light steering wheel, which incidentally was working today, so it must be where it's got to be in on the M buttons or something for it to work, but it was working today. Um, might have this whole steering wheel off with the paddles and everything gone and just have a nice lightweight race car steering wheel because airbags, who needs an airbag? I'm not going to crash, are we? Of course. Um, and then get an extended shifter up here. So we've got like, um, so it's like, the, like a touring car, you know, the old sequential box up here. So I just think being an old man like me will quite enjoy that and make me feel like I'm a racing driver. But yeah, I think it does take something away from the driving, but clearly it is faster. Although it does add weight to the car, 40 kilos heavier with this box on a manual, hmm. which on my weight loss program. Could have done with but anyway good old chunk yeah good old chunk yeah it's just one of those things isn't it i guess young people probably prefer these old people probably prefer manuals mm. uh, what are you saying i'm saying i'm old <laughs>
shift lights and all that in it. Now, I don't know if um, any of you guys have got these in your car, um, anyone who's got a BM, an M series BM, but is it just me or is it the least intuitive thing you have ever attempted to use? It's like ridiculous to try and work out. I mean, to begin with, I just didn't use it. The guy I bought it from said he didn't use it. Just, you know, it comes on, display comes on, then it just goes off. Um, but I met a guy, as I said in a previous video when I was up at Snet, I met a guy who's got exactly the same car from Palmer Sport. And, but he said the same, he's like, oh, I don't bother with it. But he sent me the, um, the manual for it, there's an online manual. And even with that, it's just ridiculous how many buttons you have to press this, do that, do the other. And I still, I mean, I'm sure I set it all once for the rev lights and everything. I'm sat here, I'm messed about. I've got something on the display. Look, I've got coolant and oil temp, because down here is just oil temp. So I thought, oh, coolant temp, that's quite handy as well. So that's what I've got it set at. But you have to turn it on every time you get in the car. It doesn't come on automatically. And I'm sure I set up all the shift lights. All it does, it does a little green flash at like, 2000 I'm really early on and then it doesn't do anything else I'm like god only knows but I mean it's got a lap timer and a race timer a stopwatch it's got all sort of handy stuff it's just so difficult to use but I don't know when I get when I get it on track next I'll um see if I can set it on stopwatch and obviously not lap time um just coincidentally press the button every now and again and see how accurate it is or see see how you, easy it is then but I just find it very unintuitive and just wonder what people thought because I think they're like over a thousand pound or something as an option. But you would have thought in this day and age they could have made it a lot simpler to use. Just my thoughts. Right, having a little check around here. Can't see any telltale scrapey sort of marks on the tyre. Can't feel anything under the arch, so I reckon we're all right. So I think we'll go ahead and do the other side because it looks look much cooler. Oh, midway through this job, why do people feel that the urge to put wheels on, like as if they need nine million foot pounds at all to hold them on? So I've had a bugger of a job getting one of the rear ones off. Um, luckily, my neighbour's got lots of tools because mine are shit. Um, so I've done it now, but while I was at it, I thought, oh, well, I know what I meant to do. Have a look, see. See, because the E36, I've got loads of spare wheels for, uh, three spare sets. Yeah, so three spare sets plus the set on it. They're all 17 inch. And I was like, there's no way 17 inch will go over these brakes. But looky here. That's it in the ground, but it would appear that they do. So this could save me a fortune because now I don't need to buy lots of spare wheels for this. I'll go to track with my 18s on, have the 17s in it. They're actually, as you can see there, because there's a bit more tire wall on those wets than there is on those drives. I guess they're a bit narrower, but they're um, circumference wise pretty much the same. So I even it's not like the car's going to drag on the ground or anything. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty good. And then it means I've got slicks and wets already. Come on. So we've got the uh, all this handling. What's it looked? Carbon fibre, wasn't it? Wait, didn't really dig it, let's go separate. Carbon fibre stickers on LED sheets. Got all that out, so that's all the boxing. And then, fortunately, I was getting a bit concerned because I could see that cross member there, that bit of the cage, about going with this brace going across there, and I was like, hmm, will a uh, wheel fit under? But a wheel will fit under. So the plan would be then to carry spare wood once slips or wet to the sort of kit in the back of the car. So yeah, added a bit of lightness. Well, probably the heaviest thing is this bit of a mat that was in the boot. I don't know if it's when I bought it and put that in or not, but that weighs a ton. I recommend to put that out on track days. But yeah, we should be able to get wheels in there. All good. So first bit of project lightness. Oh, we've lost at least a kilo or two. Make all the difference. Well, we've got them. Um, got my spaces all done. Happy with that. Don't seem to be catch anywhere, being out for a little drive, that's why it's dark now. It didn't actually take me that long, even I'm not that bad a mechanic. Some might argue that. Um, no, so uh, being out, done sort of 20 odd miles, had a little spin run. I actually went to a place that was open, might be able to make an exhaust for me, because that's my next plan as well. A lot of weight in that, it's got a standard exhaust, although they've got the valves open. But I was hoping um, there's a place yeah, near me that 
used to make custom exhaust, but now apparently don't anymore. So uh, I have to have a little think on that because I want to want to keep it at reasonable volume, but I'd quite like to put the spoiler, the, the, the spoiler, the muffler, the back box, you know, a silencer in the um, in the middle, and it looks to me like there might be enough space to get the box in the middle not have any box out the back because not only do we want to lose weight we can centralize the weight so that's what i was going to ask him but they didn't do it but he's recommended somebody else so uh i'll get them and see